Okay, upon the Zen test scores and that. So what school do you go to then, or did? My man went to, um, not that Winchmore school, that's where man went. The best school in the bar, but man first started off by going um, uh, outward. I went outward. I was there for about, I think it was eight days or something. Then I got accepted into Winchmore because I was on the reserve list. Boom, as soon as my mum got the, the letter that I'd been accepted into Winchmore, she took me out hours. I was off school for about a day or two. We ran around, wrote about this in my book. We ran around, got the uniform for Winchmore, and bam, next thing you know, man, since Winchmore started on my mum's birthday as well. Yeah. Cause like when I was at Howard, when I first went, I didn't feel like this was the school I was supposed to go to. Like, I didn't want to go there anyway. Oh man, so you went to Haverstock. Oh, okay. Oh, so you'll you'll be older than me. If you left school in 05, that means that you're probably about 34, 30, between 33 and 35 or something like that. But um, um yeah, I didn't want to go to Howard. And even during the summer holidays, before I started year seven, I went to this kind of like a play scheme thing just to get settled in and that. And I'd been there for like two, three weeks and that. And I still didn't feel like I was meant to be in that school. I didn't feel comfortable in that school. And it's not because oh, I secondary school, it's big school. I don't know, I just didn't feel like I belonged in that school. But I mean, as soon as I went to Winch, I was there for a couple of days, but I'm like, yeah. This is the school that man's supposed to be, like, supposed to have gone to. End up getting kicked out at the end, though, but not, like, unofficial. I unofficially got kicked out, you get me? Like, so basically, I used to buy and sell Christmas drinks at school and that. And um, there was one day where the, the fire alarm went off, like, three, four times in the day. Like, this is all before, like, first break time, you know? In that first break time, at, like, I don't know, 10 o'clock or something. The alarm, fire alarm went off three times. I thought, you know what, fun this. Let me run out and go to the local Sainsbury, which is near Winchmore Hill, to get some more stock to sell and that. So a man's trying to run through the school and that, got caught by one teacher. And then I was on my second final warning anyway. So they just said, don't come back to school until the, um, you know, the GCSEs and that in May. Uh, it was only one week. So I got unofficially kicked out. Yeah, got unofficially kicked out. Um, yeah. My mum, my mum was actually about then, you know. No, but yeah, my mum, my mum was um, in Jamaica. So I've gone home and I had to tell my stepdad he is kiss his teeth. And then I had to phone my mum and tell her, oh, I've been kicked out of school. And I'm like, it's cool, it's cool, it's cool. There's only one week left in it, so I'm just going to stay at home, innit? And yeah, I was just playing Xbox and that. Then went back to school and done my exams. I just coasted through school, just flew through school, innit? So me, I came out of school with like seven C's, basically. But as a bare minimum, I should have been a B student. And if I'd applied myself, could have been an A student or a low grade A. So like, let's say A minus. I don't even think they do that in the UK, but yeah. But a minimum, I should have got B's. And if I'd applied myself, I should have got like uh, A's, like a low grade A. 